The owner of a Lakeshore brewery in Canandaigua is hoping to convince city leaders to change the rules. This after complaints from neighbors forced the business to stop hosting live bands. Mackenzie Mislin joins us in the studio to explain why this is a new issue. Mackenzie. Teresa, the campaign is called Save the Music, and it's an effort to keep their eight-year-long tradition of hosting live bands going. They say the issue started when a new hotel and condos became occupied this spring. Twisted Rail Brewing Company in Canandaigua has been renting out the Muir House to live bands, both acoustic and amplified, since 2016. It's amplified, amplifiers, guitar, musicians, and the likes. Co-owner Ian Boni says amplified bands are now a problem with the new hotel and condos opening up next door. There's been complaints by a couple that's living over there, and they've kind of sent it all the way up to the city council, and which is our landlord here. But they say losing the live music hurts business. They say it's amplified music that draws in their customers. And they're not the only ones in the area to have this kind of live music. It's kind of integral part with the brewing and the craft brew scene. A lot of breweries here in town, Peacemaker, um, Young Lion, Naked Dove, we all have live music acts as well as Jose and Willie's down the street, Figure Lakes Public House. Um, and everyone's allowed and afforded under the rights of the noise ordinances to have music between certain hours of the day. Um, and it really is bringing a draw of people down here to the lakefront. I mean, they actually have music next door at the hotel, so it's kind of tit for tat. The city of Canandaigua responded, saying it was actually in the Twisted Rails rental lease all along. The amplified music is not allowed on the property, just no one complained until now. They say, quote, This is a provision in the lease that we have not enforced due to zero complaints slash issues. However, with the opening of Hotel Canandaigua, and residents now living in the condos, we have received several complaints relative to the noise level from the live music at Twisted Rail. And I understand the city's side. It's, it's difficult to make all parties happy. Bonai and his brewing company have been working with the city management to come up with a compromise to either shut down live music earlier than the sound ordinance or lower the decibel level. He says they tried to amend the lease with city council Tuesday, but were shut down. Teresa. All right, Mackenzie, thank you. Twisted Rail Brewing Company currently has a petition on Facebook to keep live music at the venue. We have a link to that over on our website, rochesterfirst.com.